Okay, in this lesson we're going to look at a second type of transformation called a reflection. Okay, and don't worry, we're only going to do the left half here on the video, and then I'm going to ask you to try to think through the questions on the right half. And then we will come back together and talk together and talk, discuss what the answers are. Okay, so a reflection, we want to think of it just like our reflection in a mirror. A reflection flips, so that's kind of like the elementary term for a reflection, is flips a figure over a line of reflection. We're going to be reflecting over the x and y axis this year. Um, and the reason we reflect it is we're trying to create a mirror image. Okay, it flips a figure over a line of reflection in order to create a mirror image. Each reflected point should be the same distance from the line of reflection. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute, but on the opposite side. So looking at these two pictures, it wants us to highlight and identify the line of reflection. What axis are we reflecting over? Okay, hopefully it's really easy for you to see that we're reflecting here over the x-axis. This is the mirror image. And then on the second one, we're reflecting it over the y-axis. So that's just to kind of get you thinking. This is over the y-axis. This was over the x-axis. Okay, so now they want us to, in example number one, reflect the figure shown over the y-axis and record our coordinates. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this because this is our pre-image. And we need to write down our coordinates, w, x, y, for um, our triangle. So take a minute, you can pause the video if you want, and write down your coordinates. It should be 2, 6, 7, 4, and 2, 2. Okay, so they want us to reflect this over the y-axis. Okay, and here, I'm going to highlight this too. This is my y-axis, okay? So what I want you to notice is that point y is two units away from the y-axis. So I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to place y prime, one, two, two units away. So my new y prime, y prime, is negative two, positive two. Okay, let's look at w. w is also two units away. So I'm going to Go to my y-axis, count two units away, boom. There is W prime. W prime is now at negative 2, 6. Okay, now let's look at X. This one's a little, little further. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 7 units away. Okay, so let's start at our y-axis and let's count seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. X prime. X prime is now at negative seven, four. Okay, and so look at our picture. Do you have a nice reflection? Hopefully you do. So now it says describe any patterns found in the ordered pairs. So what do you notice? How are your ordered pairs changing? Okay, hopefully you noticed that the x values became negative. Or I'm going to suggest that the x values became the opposite. They went from positive 2 to negative 2. Those are opposites. Um, and the y stayed the same. Okay, so that's what happens when we reflect over the y-axis. You'll notice only the x value is changing because we're flipping it side to side. We're changing the x's, okay? So what is the rule for this going to look like? Well, we started out like always. We say x comma y, and then we draw our arrows. 
And so we want to show that just our x values are becoming the opposite. So all we have to do is put a negative sign in it. That doesn't mean make your x value negative. It means make it the opposite. The real meaning of a negative sign is the opposite of. And so that's why we do that. And so that would be our rule if it was a reflection over the y-axis. And that's really easy to see how our points are changing. Okay, let's look at the next one. So now we're going to reflect it over the x-axis. And let's start by writing down our points. Again, if you want to quickly pause the video, write down your coordinates, and then double check it with mine, that might be the fastest way to do it. So we have D is 2, negative 2, E is 7, negative 7, and F is 2, negative 7. Okay, so it wants us to reflect it over the x-axis. So this time we're reflecting it over the x, and again we're going to count how many units. So D is 1, 2 units away, so now I'm going to go 2 units the other way. 1, 2. And so d prime is at 2, positive 2. Okay. Um, f is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. f prime went out of order, so it's going to go down here. So that's 2, 7. Okay. Um, e is the same distance as f, so what did we say? That was 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. E prime. And so here, whoops, I can't draw a straight line. Here is my new triangle. The point for E prime is 7, 7. Okay, so let's talk about what we notice here. What do you notice? from our pre-image to our image. Okay, hopefully you're noticing that our y values became the opposite, but our x's stayed the same. So this time, our y values are opposite, and our x's stayed the same. Okay, and so now when we write our rule, x comma y, then um, since our y, the x has stayed the same, but our y values changed the opposite. So this time, we're going to put our negative sign on the y value. Okay, one thing that's important to remember about a reflection is that one variable always stays the same. Now you'll get into more complicated ref reflections later on, but for our purposes you're only going to reflect it one time. You're only going to reflect it over the x or only reflect it on the y, over the y. So it, one variable should always be the same. Notice x and y stay in the same position too. Okay. So I want you to use that information, and I want you to see if you can start thinking through um, these questions. If you need to skip around a little bit, then do that, um, but work through those problems, and then we will talk about it.